Ever since I came back from Berlin, I've been hit by burnout, mostly due to the overwhelming demands of university evaluations and some personal reasons. For the past four years, I've been going non-stop. Then, after returning from a trip, I had looked forward to the most, burnout hit me really hard. The moment I had eagerly awaited for over five years was over, leaving me feeling empty. At the same time, something I was looking forward to in May felt through, which left me feeling a deep sense of loss. Even now, I'm still trying to get over it. When I had the motivation, I decided a girl to study English diligently. But even that girl has also faded away, leaving me feeling really empty. But I've decided to turn this situation around. I'm making this video to talk about my burnout using the English I've worked hard to learn. Documenting how I overcome this challenge is part of my journey. I need to get out of this depression quickly. This is the worst burnout I've ever experienced and it's caught me off guard. But I'm determined to overcome it and I'm taking good care of myself. There's day when I don't want to do anything, I don't want to eat or even sleep, aside from watching YouTube or reading before bed. This monotonous routine leaves me feeling pathetic and even more depressed. I realize that something needs to change. So this video is about me tackling my burnout head on and coming out stronger. So this is my burnout recovery vlog. I just got home from work, took a shower, and I'm going to make my dinner. I want to share with you guys one of my favorite dinner recipes um, I've been making a lot recently. It's called uh, crispy fried tofu. It's very easy and so delicious. So, let's go.
but I already feel in this to show my friend how to make something with this cute minions seaweed flakes uh, but I'm just gonna share in my video this recipe is known as one of BTS member Jungkook he recommended it um, very simple and um, easy to cook um, first chum sauce this is um, my first time seeing this sauce chum sauce let me try some <sighs> this smells like fishy sauce The taste of like um, soy sauce mixed vinegar and some of sesame oil. Yeah, cham sauce and blue duck sauce, very spicy, and blue duck mayo sauce and um, perla leaves oil, and of course, this. Um, Flake, seaweed flakes, and buckwheat noodle. Buckwheat noodle. Ah, and the last one, uh, the egg. One egg. Only the yellow part. Um, these are quite simple ingredients, but I didn't have any of them in my home, so I had to buy everything. <laughs> but you can find these on Amazon, so try it I've been overwhelmed with work, so I've been trying to set a social battery bedtime for myself in the evening. So a social battery bedtime for me is when I stop all social stuff for the night. No more calls or text messages. If we are chatting, I will say something like, Hey, it's getting late, we can chat later. But that doesn't mean I'm actually trying to go to sleep right now. It doesn't mean I'm done talking for the night and want to get some me time. I might be still on my phone, but just not chatting. I could reading a book or watching YouTube. So if you see my online status after I say uh, I'm going to bed, um, don't please don't take it personally. I'm just taking a break before my real bedtime.
I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love. Like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight. Knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. And tell me how we messed up. Drifting away from each other. Didn't want to let you go. Carry on on your own. Met him on a sunny day in late July, and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as we spent by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I couldn't get him.